The Simpsons have been known to have a writer's room full of modern Nostradamuses. Er, uh, Nostradami? Anyway, the point is, these folks are fortune tellers on a level we haven't seen since biblical times. So what does King Homer and the gang have in store for us in 2021? Let's look at some times The Simpsons saw into the future and why some folks are freaked out about what they see coming for 2021. Since the dawn of Homer, we've seen The Simpsons make predictions from Super Bowl wins to NSA surveillance scandals to tiger attacks and magic shows. Sorry, Siegfried and Roy, but to be fair, you didn't need to be The Simpsons to see that one coming. Just in the season 6 episode Lisa's Wedding alone, they predict video chat, smartwatches, and the construction of the Shard Building in the London skyline 17 years before it was built. It's not just the older, classic seasons either. In season 21, they had Homer on the US curling team beating Sweden for gold 8 years before the exact matchup in Pyeongchang. In season 23, they knew Lady Gaga would be in the Super Bowl halftime show, although when she did, she didn't take their cue on a fireworks projecting bra because, well, you know, divas probably. Even when they're wrong, they're right. When season 11 came out in 2000, would you have expected to picture President Donald Trump conceding to President Lisa? We've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. Hey, 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 don't get mad at me, I voted for Kodos. While we're on voting, they predicted in 2008 voting machines where people try to vote for one candidate and the machine selected another, only to have that happen in the very next presidential election when a voting machine wouldn't let a voter select then-President Obama. It didn't count, relax. How about some science? Homer becomes an inventor in the 10th season and writes an equation on a chalkboard. Years later, when scientists discovered the Higgs boson, also known as the God Particle, look it up, nerds. Nerd! Well, it turns out that the mass was similar to Homer's work. Three-eyed fish in rivers, mutant tomatoes, stealing grease for cash, it's all been thought of by the ghosts of Springfield past. You might call them writers, but I'd call them prophets of Evergreen Terrace. Oh, and uh, did I mention that they also called Disney acquiring the rights to The Simpsons themselves? Smart like a group of 20th century foxes. So what has the internet community all up in arms? Well, I mean, besides that and that. Okay, so their arms are always up on something, but what I'm trying to segue casually to is the fact that in the recent Halloween episode, known to fans as the Treehouse of Horrors, the writer's room was especially sour on the outlook of America in 2021. Oh, haven't we had enough of this year? Well, someone left some black licorice in their candy bowls because they painted a pretty bleak picture of where America will be in a year's time. Firstly, they start us in nice and casual-like with a general apocalypse since Homie forgot to vote. He slept through it, and by the time Inauguration Day, January 20th, 2021 appears on screen, well, let's just say those killer robots are a little worse to Hans Mole Man than your typical football in the groin. As Hans puts it in the way only his kind wrinkled peanut can. Oh, that's what I get for voting for Kanye. The divinations don't end there. Fans have noted after the election that the map actually shown on screen in the episode pretty closely matches what the final electoral college map ended up being. Some of the states that flip from red to blue match up. This could be a sign that someone in Springfield is a close observer of substandard polling, but fans are not convinced. How the creators of the show know this information is anyone's guess. Maybe these oracles traded their souls for donuts, or perhaps guest star Lucy Lawless put it best when she said, a wizard did it. Sure, we could flatly assume that they're just a bunch of soothsayers who landed a cushy Hollywood job to settle their outstanding gambling debts, but that would just be too easy. The truth is, the show has always held up a mirror to society, which has influenced society in turn. Paul McCartney responded to a 50-year-old fan letter, as happened in an episode where Marge painted an homage to Ringo. As one of the original and longest standing writers, Al Jean said in an article with the BBC, if you make enough predictions, then 10% will turn out to be right. Since much of the writing takes place long before it's animated, the creators are sometimes forced to project months ahead of the airing of an episode so they'll make assumptions to seem timely. Just this year, in a 2020 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Simpsons writer Bill Oakley spoke candidly about how the show has been eerily accurate on their predictions. There are very few cases where The Simpsons predicted something. It's mainly just coincidence because the episodes are so old that history repeats itself. We're through the looking glass here, people. 
The reason The Simpsons have been in our homes and hearts for this long is because they've always known where we've been guides where we're going. For years, the residents of Springfield have been holding up a mirror to our modern society and sneaking in historical context to the point that they've made history themselves. What parts of their 2021 predictions do you see coming true, and do you have any predictions of your own? Share below in the comments, and make sure to like and subscribe for more from us at Screen Rant.